So yesterday was my birthday. Happy birthday, dear Mary Happy birthday to you. And for my present to all of you, here's this awesome lesson video I got with Baptiste himself. If you've been following my channel for a while, you would know by now that I'm a huge fan of this guy. <laughs> He's finally available for lessons. As soon as he made the announcement, I immediately asked for a lesson and I got one. And he was nice enough to let me upload this video. So I've compiled the highlights from it and I hope you learned just as much as I did. Now I know some of you guys are gonna ask, why do you look so bad in this video? I just woke up so I had the hobo hair, bed head, and my eyes were all flushed. But it's not a date and I'm not a model, so I don't really care. And by the way, thank you for 86.6 thousand subscribers. Oh my God. Let's get on to the lesson. Have a good day. So yeah, man, I'm I'm kind of starstruck right now because um, I've been listening to you for many years now. So it's really awesome to do this. You know, awesome. Yeah, it's thanks to the technology. Yes. Uh, before I didn't was uh, uh, habit to, to to make some uh, lesson Skype and uh, was like okay. before I, I I when I used to. Uh, Live in another place in Paris. It was impossible to play because of neighbors. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. Oh, okay. Uh, neighbors, uh, it's, a, it's a new, new building, uh, better for acoustic, better. So it's it's good. Awesome. But, yeah. Yeah. When when you get to a chord, say like generally all the chords in a tune feel fine, but then there's this one section where there's like four chords in a key that you don't feel as strong as maybe you don't have this problem anymore but when you did um yeah. what would what would you recommend like do you have a set of things that you make sure you can do over a give any given key like maybe like seventh chords or playing in thirds or any exercise that maybe i should know about master the, the key mastering the key mm -hmm. it's like we are in the d flat major Hang on. yeah <laughs> Okay, it's D, D flat, and you have to master it to play it like a... There is a lot of, of exercise and... Okay, mm -hmm. and after, it's the same, but in minor, so... So in minor, in, in so it's not you know this, but yeah. the first the first step is to be very comfortable. Yeah, OK, 
Okay, so I didn't even realize when you do the thirds on that one, you still include that passing tone? Yeah, because it's the tonality. You have to think not about each chord. You have to think uh, uh, in general. We are in, in D, E flat. Could be at the beginning, it's the, the color, it's uh, on, on the other thing you are. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the. <laughs> It's like, ah, oh, we are going to the dark minor, and after, ah, oh, it's called Picard third. Oh, um, yeah. Picardy third, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, the, under the signoir, there is this. You can play two without this uh, fifth, five, uh, uh, the flat five, you can play So if you want to, to uh, discover more uh, vocabulary, you have to play very Simple, like I, I did yesterday with the, with the guy from Texas. It was with the guy tunes, which is a. Mm. Okay. As far as working on that stuff, those exercises you show me in D flat, would I be better off spending a whole day on that, or maybe just an hour and moving on? Or we don't know when when you you are uh, not uh, you are satisfied, like you are okay. Ah, it's okay. You have to 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 feed you, and when it's uh, too much, it's okay. Let's go oh. other things. And after I will, I will, uh, uh, I will go back tomorrow, for example. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I like to 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 play it like okay, two five one, and after okay, maybe there is an application. Okay, uh, maybe it could be uh, blues, you know, major and minor, like. A, <laughs> playing in F for, for us, D or, you know, something. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. The, yeah. You know, it's like fingering. It's like, ah, oh, shit, let, let's uh, do some doubts. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. And uh, uh -huh. the, the, the very good method for me is to, to stay on it. You know, very, a lot of violence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On it during one month every time, one one hour per, per day, for example, could be two, could be just uh, 30 minutes. 
Despite your, your personal uh, phrasing, your ideas, you can write it. Dwayne Dessani used to, used to do this. He, he brought his, uh, his solos, for example, the story about it. And um, yeah, it's you have to find like a, a scientist, you know, to, okay, what, what is the very best? You have to transcribe to maybe a singer, not only saxophonist. Maybe mm. singer, piano players, uh, mm. guitar players, and after uh, yeah, after it's, you know, it seems I, I, I'm working on pentatonics uh, on it. For example, it's a. Uh, <laughs> Works and it sounds, it's very good. I, I, I was on the piano, I discovered this uh, l last month, you know. Uh, I started, okay, this pentatonic is good. Second chord. So, yeah, you have to, to find your, your, your own okay. way. And uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Did you say? that you write it down is that what you said yeah i, I didn't write so i didn't write this but you, you can write oh okay oh, okay like, there is a, a, a beautiful line you know. <laughs> transcribe do you do anything after the transcription like do you take lines and try it in all 12 keys um, not not so much when i am i'm i'm doing transcription no not so much no oh, okay i'm taking this in this uh yeah in this tonality and after uh, i may i make myself and uh, but i don't use a lot of uh, you know making transcription uh, making in every keys Mm. This, but, yeah, could be on on some uh, yeah could be on uh, uh, on. <laughs> well, on on this, this kind of uh, of melody it could be yeah yeah so do you, would you say the majority of your lines just come from yourself? Yeah, maybe because I hear the lot and uh, mm -hmm. and I, I yeah, I'm yeah, practicing the, a lot. I have a friend here from Cuba. Its name is Yaving Akao, mm -hmm. very talented tenor player. He, he's, we have a common point that we can take a, a standard and staying on it during one hour, two hours. There is mm -hmm. some language involving arriving. Yeah, Sometimes I stop and ah, this 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 phrase uh, is very cool. I, I stop and I can record, I can write it. Mm. Uh, some exercise you, you can put, um, uh, you know, some tritons, for example, substitution, for example, oh. on this. Uh, <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
can play every when I, I told you just more about the tonality, not each chords. Oh. Like you know what? Yeah, it could could be scholar, so it's it's more to you know make a link like uh, very simple, very singing mm. like a, like a sing. Yeah. something uh, you know um, logic mm -hmm. and, and singing and, and you, you, you you keep on an ID evolving the ID you can put some uh, um, uh, some space too it's very good I, I put uh, a pedal <laughs> Substitution for C7, so that's oh. cool because so the, the not a chord, and it, it works it's like you can hear it right on. Altered, it's more like uh, I know it, here in Paris we have uh, some few bebop, uh, uh, bebop uh, masters, and uh, they, they, they told me what altered. You can you can't play. You can't uh, explain altered. It's just uh, frightened uh, minor six. Mm. <laughs> but it's uh, just a question of language. It's not. Uh, but I'm right. It's altered, diminished, the same. But it's, it's like the altar because uh, it's C sharp minor, melodic minor. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Every dominant chord, every dominant, and after if you, it's an exercise to, to try to put in every dominant this kind of things, minor six, triton, and after there is another, uh, another world, you know. You know a lot. Did you have like a classical background ever? Did you? I did some classical studies, but during, uh, during um, four or five years, not so much. Mm. But, okay. but I used to have a, a, a very good uh, uh, my teacher who teach me the sax when I was eleven. He was uh, uh, he teach me the um, velocity, you know, the, the capacity of playing uh, fast and to ma how to master all the keys yeah. uh, at your first year of saxophone. Oh wow! So this, this is the this is the big key. It, it's you have to do uh, like uh, you know, uh, this and after and at, at, the, at the first year told me you have to do this after or maybe yeah, and, the very beginning it's the most important after okay you can do what you want Dang. Me, huh. you call me uh, scales minor and, and major chromatism, chromatism about and a little bit about altissimo when i was like uh, with two years of uh, of saxophone Dang. i discover uh, uh, thanks to him i discover uh, this world uh, very very mm. fast you know yeah good, uh, not about the sound about sound and um, which it was not so good i discovered after mm. but you, you can't have everything yeah dang that's yeah. crazy yeah. okay but uh, uh, sometimes i am um, uh, a friend so sometimes uh, we call uh, and message and where every time uh, he's here and uh, just a, a little teacher in a little town in the center of France. And mm. He plays for a ballroom and uh, for the uh, French uh, parties uh, with accordion. And uh, he's not a big classical or jazz man, but he has a, a master of a, a very good technique. Yeah, okay. And so you... it's like Bird said, uh, I'm talking about Bird every time, but you have the poster of Bird behind you. So. Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> but you can feel comfortable, not like F or C or G or, uh, I don't know, D, but you can feel something uh, confident you are like, very comfortable. Maybe you can't uh, play very fast, like uh, on, uh, on uh, the G, but... I take this um, this idea like why why I, ca I can't play it in D flat or anything any 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 tonality any tones no problem. Okay. But it's a question uh, every time of work. It's like a... <laughs> okay, it's G, and after well, just one step, uh, half step upper. <laughs> Thanks. So it's in a flat after a, maybe um, a D or a B. <laughs> But when you go, you are going to body and soul, when you are going to the, the B. After I 
it's easier because it's A after it's... Uh, but you have to master these keys very, I told you, like rhythm change too, it's very interesting, uh, rhythm change in G flat, for you know. It's a question of hearing the tonality, not a question of injuring. It's mm. a question of hearing well in this tonality. Because it's very, very unusual. So we have to, to form the, the, the ears. Yeah. Okay. What do you think is a better method? Do you think practicing 12 keys a day is better for a long time? Or do you think spending um, a long time on one key at a time is better. What, what's better for you? And, um, how many hours you have in the day? If you have the whole day for you to practice, for example, I don't know if it's the case. Uh, for me, for example, I, I start with uh, one hour of uh, uh, one or two keys. Mm -hmm. So you have to put this uh, little piece and little piece, little piece. You know. <laughs> And after the second second part, and after to stick the, the two, after okay. the third part, yeah, it's good to, to have some parts. Like uh, in the classical, they, they, they are happy to, to work like this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bar after bars, or notes after notes, you know? Yeah. Four notes, four notes. And, uh, and to play it very fast. I don't know. I, I don't have uh, uh, example, but and I've started to stick. And after, ah, okay, it, it will be okay. Uh -huh. But I, I think it's the best method. Met, the best method to to master the, the, the things very fast, like uh, the very uh, terrific. Uh, <laughs> it, the same from birds. Yeah. <laughs> Not after not like a uh, okay, so details, little details like uh, okay. Ah. I, I know it could be very you, you didn't uh, didn't do this um I, I i did but i wasn't sure if it was right or wrong so i just went back to practicing slow you know yeah but the slow but the whole uh the whole line i think it's good 
but to play it fast, you can't. You have to to you have to practice uh, it fast. A, a little part, a second part. Okay, yeah. okay. Sure, it's not uh, so lyrical like uh, very slow and after 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 uh, faster and faster. But it's not very beautiful to hear. But that's <laughs> my opinion. That's the way. For example, I did a composition, but on on the uh, on the piano, which is uh, uh, based on Why the Moon and Themology, and the, the last phrase, the last phrase is very. <laughs> Party. Yeah. To, to check where is the difficulty. Okay, this. Okay, and after. And after playing it. Personal trap, you know. Hmm. <laughs> I, I did it. I com I, I composed it on uh, on the piano, and after yeah. it was wow. I composed it. It's al almost impossible to play it on, on the sax. Yeah. But after it's like nothing. It's impossible. So I will play, and we will. Uh, I will. Uh, yeah. I started to get the idea that you could just literally play anything just on the first try. So. Yeah, I, I think I, I can now, but sometimes there is some lines I want to, to play it perfectly, and it's normal. Or I'm telling a lot about this topic in the master classes around the world during workshop. I said, oh, how many, uh, how many hours you are practicing? First question, second question. Um, is it important to transcribe a lot? Uh, uh, okay, first uh, question, first answer. It's a third question of about hours. It's a question about. Um, investments you know about uh, the music is your life so you dedicate your your life to this and there is no hours it's oh, not like yeah. oh, i did six hours no yeah i don't i can't i don't count i don't know <laughs> Just myself without uh, yeah. it's natural you know until yeah. i am uh, um okay uh, i i can't mm -hmm. play more i want to, to go to cinema i want to go to my girlfriend outside you know Okay, let's go over the thing. It's very natural. But I know at the beginning it's important to practice. Like, okay, I put two hours on my phone alarm because uh, at the beginning you have to, to have some, uh, you know, it's important to have some. Uh, yeah. Something uh, away until six hours could be. Uh, I used to, to play 12 hours a day. I used to very, very long time ago. And the second answer, it's like question of hearing. It's not question of transcription because we can transcribe a lot of things, but without understand or without applicate the, the transcription. I, mean, I, I know a lot of guys, you know a lot of transcriptions, but when they are playing, it's not so, okay, it's okay, but not so personal. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I know the, the, the that it's very pleasant to to to, to make it to, to play behind the, the, the masters and I know, but in my for my case I did it a little bit not so much like ten solos I brought, um, and the rest it's like I know I know it by by here by yeah mm. I can sing in the, sing it in a, in my shower you know <laughs> in my bathroom. Yeah, you know, the, the lot of CD just singing breaker okay. uh, breaker solos. I can't play it on sax. I, I mean, I can, but I have to work on it. But I, I, I know it. I can sing it. It's like it's mm. already a, a transcription. I, I think it's my opinion. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. OK. So if you take a CD, today we have this uh, 
not negative, it's good too, but we have Deezer, Spotify, lots of lots of mm -hmm. When uh, I start sax, there was no internet. Uh, it was the beginning of internet in uh, 98, beginning of internet, no Spotify, just CD, vinyl. So it was very good. I, I remember this uh, uh, era because uh, it was just one CD and hearing this CD during one month, every day, every day, one month, every day, until uh, uh, knowing the bass line, the, the piano line. Today, it's good because we have access to all, but we don't have this, you know, just put a Miles Davis tune during one month every, every day. Oh, okay. So you're saying like maybe today's problem is that we don't spend enough time on one thing at a time? Yeah. Uh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere, Brazil and France in the United States. Yeah. One time there was a, like maybe five years ago, I was playing a lot of fast tune and a lot of technique. There was a, a, a there is a, a, a piano players here in France. A very good friend, a piano bebop player. He told me, "Okay, I have a solution for you. Put the same album, one album or two albums of Lester Young." But it every day, you don't hear another things as this during one month. Maybe classical, maybe other things, but not to the sax, not to the things uh, jazz. You can practice, uh, of course, but just hearing it at home this uh, during one month and uh, see you next month. And we see the difference, but wow, hey, you, you play more melodic, more, because uh, it's an, an influence, you know? Yeah, it or makes sense. Sure. Yeah, it's just, it's impossible to go very deep in a song if you only listen to it once and then move on to the next song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's why it's good to put the song during one month every time. Maybe mm -hmm. two or three, but yeah, on one album, one album. Okay. All right, I'll try that. I'll try that out. And I said, it was a pleasure for me. Oh, no, it was a pleasure for me, man. Thank you. And have a good uh, good work, good, uh, good scenes, good vibes for you. Yeah, thank you very much. I have to drive uh, 10 hours today. <laughs> okay. yep. I got in a car crash yesterday, so. Ah, uh, sorry for this. That's okay. I'm Is still alive. Okay? Yeah, my car is uh, destroyed. That's okay. <laughs> uh, there is insurance. Yeah, I'm just going to go buy a new one. Yeah, it's life, I know. Yeah. Sorry about that. When uh, uh, someone stole my Mark 6, well, it was the same uh, wow, last year. So... Oh my God. It just shit happens uh, sometimes. And I take this, um, this things negative of our life to become this like a positive things. Like it's a, like a, a, a signal, signal, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm not religious, but it's like uh, something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, I have to pay attention about this. Maybe I can change it. Just, but it's not. Uh, yeah, you take this not negative, but it's like uh, involving your life and your uh, your uh, way to think. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the, the best way to okay to to uh, accept the things, uh, the bad things, the shit. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a great way of thinking about it. When uh, someone stole my sax, I was not like this. When oh no, it was this just one month after. Yeah, kind of lots of work. It's like uh, after. Okay, <laughs> I have to learn to forgive. Uh, yeah, awesome. Well, next time you come to America, please put it on your Instagram, and I will go to any show that you do. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> awesome. Crazy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, will, I will drive however long it takes. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Awesome. Awesome. So take care and uh, when you want another lesson, uh, you are welcome. No problem. Okay. Sounds great. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Awesome. Take care. Right. Good, good luck with your car and, uh, and see you next time. Thank you. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Awesome. All right. See you. Ciao. Awesome. See you. <laughs>